You had to estimate how deep the water is. And you're going to be in the middle of a hurricane. Say that for this time there is a word for spirituality. And that word is action. A time of great hope. All of those awakening at this time on the planet. All of us are waking up, remembering our lineages from the stars, from the earth, the onway honway. the call and showed up for the prophecies. Everywhere we're traveling around the world, we're seeing all the colors coming together, all the people coming together, rising up together as one. The elders are telling us it is time. We are the spiritual guardians of the earth returning. And we're here for the Keep Families Together March. God, I love it when they show me what democracy looks like. I've been to other protests before, but this was really special, truly an epic day. Just hope, unity, and wanting to come together for positive change. Over 30,000 of us came in love, peace, and harmony as we chanted, celebrated that change is coming. This was a magical moment to be the change that we want to see. Team Punk Angels. Team Punk Angels. 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 We're bringing you real reports on the ground, giving you an inside look at heart Center gatherings, festivals, and community organizations. They're doing great work in the world, important activist movements, marches. It's a rally in Los Angeles here at Grand Park. So that you can stay up to date on the latest happenings within the wider progressive conscious community. We're learning individually and collectively how to gather together as humanity as a whole and harness our co-creative powers as a collective consciousness. Where are my healers at? Where are my amazing artists, my creatives out there? Come join with us. That's how we're meant to live. That's how we're meant to thrive, is to lift each other up. Five seconds of acceptance for that sensation in your body. I love and accept myself. You have all these outer planets at the last three degrees of the zodiac, so it feels like the end of time. But again, we're also changing ages, so we're at the end of saying, end of time. I'm sure a lot of people here have always felt that they had the calling to be a light worker. We're talking about advancement of our species. We thrive only together. This is not about thriving alone. We're gonna have a moment where this collective is gonna go, we can't be afraid and we have to trust our divine way. Because the identity of a planet shifts, but also means that, that the predominant species and everything on it has to shift as well. You know, each of your chakras are like power cords that connect into these electromagnetic energy lines. We're not just calling our future, our beneficent future is calling us to it. We honor the elders, past, present, and future. Our consciousness, works with the consciousness of the planet. We are a universal source in the universe, and I have seen it. A new dialogue space is being created as Mother Earth is ascending. The normal cube of 3D is evolving into a hypercube to a 4D cube, and this is part of the work I do, helping to activate these new points of power. The DNA strands 
are being reactivated rather than just the part of the DNA that we can measure. Certain afflictions, sometimes it could be an inheritance that's genetic that comes up through your body yeah. because you're the only person awake in your genetic lineage to even have the reference to process and clear that. I've noticed that a lot of people are dealing with solar plexus, which is our personal empowerment. People are starting to stand in their root, come into their personal empowerment and voice what's going on for them so oh my gosh it makes it like magnified the light comes into the crystal at one speed and it doubles back at twice the speed so bringing any optical calcite into your field cleanses your entire field for about a week i felt like crystal liquid light was just rushing up my auric field while i'm like in my childhood bedroom <laughs> and my parents house like what's oh going on there are people going through these awakening processes all over the planet that a lot of people don't really understand. So we're bringing you the Ascension Keys, featuring different keys, tools, insights to help us feel more supported as we're going through these intense times. Hey, hey. Whatever Ascension Code is right for you at this time, see yourself connecting through the sun, the great central sun, to the great source of creation. Hey, it's Lauren Avril here at VAE, and we are here recording live in the studio here with our altar. It's all happening now. Mm. And right now is the only time that we have to actually deal with anything. So when you're really aware of your sovereignty and your spiritual authority, you can change all the lines of time forward and backward through time. As you're removing layers of energy, you could lift something up. You have to be using your intuitive gifts. You have to feel the energy. And how now do you transform that energy into light? We are going to bring in those healers, those practitioners, those teachers to help you know that you're not alone. What you're going through is not weird. If you're feeling it, it's valid. And we've got your back. You were the original pioneers and trailblazers that really carved that path. We're coming back into our intuition and into being connected to you know the earth, the plants, the sky, and each other from a heart space, not just from a mental space. The ascension comes when we help that part of us release that yeah. and, and feel the one again. Every person that I interact with, I just really hold that attention of like, I hope that you feel loved, I hope that you feel seen, I hope that you feel honored when you come to our gathering. Bring our prayer and our intention to connect all these right synapses for the highest good of all beings across all timelines throughout the multiverse. This is sacred activism. Remember who and what you are. Remember what you came here to bring to this life that only you can do. I believe we are in a time of revolution of consciousness on our planet. We are all being called to step up into this revolution. Every single person here has their code for this collective. She's coming out. I like, yeah. The goddesses are coming out. The priestesses are coming. <laughs> Your heart is the most powerful ascension key there is. There is nothing more powerful in this world than the power of love. One heart, one life, and one love. So be it. A global community of light workers ever expanding. Because when we bring our light together, it raises the vibration. With everyone opening their hearts, we can get to that level. Remember this. Remember what you already know. Because there's something in you that's magic. Welcome to the media for the new paradigm.